Installing and configuring Elastix Call Center add-on. The working principle of this module is to take advantage of Asterix Q system. Its main features are as follows. Inbound and outbound calls, predictive dialing, multiple queues and campaigns can operate at the same time, agent script, call agenda, callback login, an agent can log in on multiple queues or campaigns reports call monitoring and recording one of the limitation in elastix call center free add-on module is that it does not have feature of voice blasting what is voice blasting the scenario in which a pre-recorded message is played when the call is answered it's normally used in automated outbound dialer for example you have some notification or reminder or even some promotion and you have some bulk customers that you want to inform them. To do this, there are many commercial solutions are available and you can Google it to find more. So let's install Elastix Call Center module. I will log in on my Elastix instance using my admin credentials and then we'll go to the add-on page which is Elastix Marketplace. Please make sure your Elastic instance is connected to the internet or you will not be able to see anything on add-on page. It will show an error. On add-on page, you need to scroll a little bit or you can use the search box filter to locate the free Elastic Call Center by Paulo Santos solution. Fleet note, this is the free add-on. There's a similar call center module which is a paid and known as Call Center Pro or Dino. We are not covering the paid version. Just click on install. If it asks for registration, you need to fill out the form with required details and submit. Alternatively, to avoid this registration process, you can use the CLI based command to install the call center module. I will open the putty to Elastics instance and then we'll issue the command yum install elastix dash call center as you can see the package is available and next i need to enter y that means yes installing via command do not require the registration this is finished and we have successfully installed the module let me log out and re-log in to get the updated GUI or just refresh the page tab is now available let me click on this as you can see the number of configuration and settings are available for call centers we will go through all these settings and logical order and we'll explore them so let's start with first basic configuration part the asterisk connection we will keep the local host IP address which is 127.0.0.1 since asterisk and this module is on the same machine next asterisk login we will use the same admin username and password that we set up for the elastix admin access ami session duration this is used for the outbound dialer that means how long you want to keep the dialer connection the elastic score or asterisk. Enter 0 or O for persistent connection. So we just want to make sure that we are always connected to the core elastic or to the asterisk. Dialer parameters. We will set the short call threshold to 10 seconds. This means the amount of time in seconds a call should last to be considered as successful call. If the call lasts less than the specified value, it is considered a failed call. Answer delay 8 seconds means amount of time a call takes to be answered by an agent. This value is used to adjust the predictive dialer in order to predict agent availability. Service percentage 97 means certainty and percentage that the call will be answered by any agent 
per call dial timeout equal to zero if a call is not answered after the specified time and seconds it will be considered failed agent inactivity timeout 15 seconds the amount the amount of time an agent can be idle before being penalized in the queue we will check these options, rest of these options, uh, since we do not require them. One last setting that we need to do is to enable the predictive dialer behavior. This option enable or disable the predictive dialer behavior. If it is disabled, all the above parameter that we have just set up will be ignored and the call will be dialed depending on the number of agents available. So we will tick it. Let's save and then click on dialer status to start. It will take few seconds to start. As you can see, it's now started. And if you go to the dashboard panel and check for a call center status and processes status, you can see the service is now running. So this means our module is up and running. The basic configuration has been completed. And now we will move towards the other configurations. So let's do that.